Hello everyone. So today we will be going to deploy OpenShift Data Foundation from Web Console. So we also say ODF, OpenShift Data Foundation. So we have divided into subtask. So the first one, install the local storage operator. Uh, once it is done, then we'll be going to install OpenShift Data Foundation operator. So once your Data Foundation operator done, then we'll be creating a storage instance. Once everything is done, this is the main final step we can say. And uh, once ODF is deployed on your OpenShift cluster, then we'll be going to verify it. So this is the way that we will be going to deploy. So let me first uh, take you on the terminal and uh, let's log into OpenShift cluster. So OC login hyphen you here, as we know that we are using an admin, which is basically a cluster admin user. And the credential for this one is Red Hat OCP. We have a API URL, which is basically can say api.ocp4.example.com and 6443 where it is listening so we are able to authenticate by using this we can verify also so mm, this is the uh, user and it is basically OAuth based authentication this is the token associated with this user and uh, basic checks we can do it cluster version we can figure out so we are as of now uh, using 4.16 version Kubernetes version is 1.29 and let's open the web console so we have multiple method so, so console is one of the method which we can use we'll get the console then we will open this console here so let me log in with uh, web console same way how I have done with CLI so because our deployment of ODF will be doing it by using web console I'll just close other tabs so here I got a screen. Let me log in admin and Red Hat OCP. So I will save this credential so that next time if I want to log in, I, I should not type. I can easily quickly get into the console. So we will be using operator hub and we will go in operator hub. I'll just go for to install the local operator we have in front of us. Uh, install so we can go for the stable network uh, stable channel as of now so automatic everything i'm doing a default one so the moment you will be installing this operator so what will happen uh, storage namespace will be created so i can show you the namespace here local storage basically so you can type local so this storage you will get it so we can go for to verify what all things basically we have here so it is as of now nothing uh, it is going on so once it is done it will deploy this operator so this is the operator basically once it will say installed then we can we can go here we can see all the application running so sorry so we are able to see all the application is running here so that's fine now we can go for the second option if you go in the subtitle uh, subtask so here second point is install the OpenShift data foundation operator so let me go with that option also so I'll go to install operator and all projects so local operator local storage is deployed so I'll go to operator hub and I will say ODF ODF OpenShift data foundation so I can click on this so channel I can go for stable channel version is this everything is fine I can go for install so I have installed this then uh, the same thing which I was seeing there right so same thing is getting reflected here only one thing you need to enable it so that uh, this plugin will be enabled uh, once it is installed so I install the uh, I click on the installed and it is going on as of now so it will create a namespace so you can say it will create a namespace openshift storage so i'll just mention storage i will get openshift storage so this is the last one which we need to see so we'll see get parts hyphen n and hyphen n this i can i can get watch watch so it is going on as of now nuba operator it is installing so one by one it will install all the 
component all these applications basically will be installed on this particular uh, you can say namespace and here also it is showing that it is it is as of now in progress and once it is installed it will show here create this gray option will be enabled and I will be able to create a storage system so we'll wait for this so now it is installed and I can that option which was gray now it is I am able to click on that so create a storage system which is our third uh, point so we can go for the default settings here as of now and we can uh, before going further you we have to okay uh, we have to go in the operator once so all operator so data foundation so when I'm able to see data foundation storage so storage create storage client so if you see here this also you are doing a same way so if you go here so will be storage system will be creating it so let me open this so I can refresh that so once it is refreshed I'll again access the ODF so I'm waiting for that it is almost done yeah so here I will go for to install this so I can go for ODF OpenShift Data Foundation and we have create storage system so I clicked on that which was not giving me an option I can go for full deployment here I can select local storage and I can continue then I need to create a local volume set so I'm waiting for that now I am getting that option now I will select I can give a name so let me give new 370 example so and we'll go for the advanced set option also where we will be mentioning one disk we will be using it so you can click on next so once it is done then you can click on yes and then we are going to further proceed for security and network data protection and final review uh, on and create the ODF for uh, your storage system uh, now it is showing everything is fine so now I can go for next so I'll go for default setting as of now will not do as of now further uh, changes so it is deployed so it is going on so I can go here and I can verify so on the very extreme right hand side this area it will be start deploying it so we will see all those activity here so as of now just now started so you will see yeah it is came up here so even we can see those on CLI all as well so if you see here so we will be able to see so many uh, so many new ports will be going to be create see a uh, few 13 33 seconds back some ports and zero second back so the build basically which is going to be configured here so this will be keep on increasing and once everything is done then here also we can verify that everything is done so we'll just wait for this point also to be done and uh, even though from web console we are able to see uh, there are two options one is uh, your block pools which which is under progress basically and uh, overview you have option to go for block and file and object so here uh, object service data resiliency all this will be green then we can consider everything is fine so we are just waiting for the input in web console as well as CLI let's wait for this to, to be complete okay so we are able to see 
so here we have a green signal so it is done we can go for the object also so it is also fine we can go for block pool so it is also fine so we have an option now oh, if you go in the storage data foundation so we can go in data foundation and we can see here this also will be fixed in sometimes so this is the way that uh, we will be going to deploy odf with ba very basic default settings and now we'll be implementing this odf uh, for different different use cases okay let me take you here also so when we go here we'll be having oc get storage class sc also we can mention so these are the storage class which we have now as i as i mentioned that this is basically done here uh, let's go for this option also one time we can go in install operator and we can go in odf and here we have our option so we can go in storage system this one we can access and we are able to see all the things are fine even we can verify our storage class is perfect and we can go for oc get storage cluster storage cluster that also perfectly fine so uh, this is the way that odf will be deployed now let's use odf uh, how we will be able to do a extra arrangement so that our application will use odf now or our internal registry will use odf or any logging solution where grafana loki will use odf so that data will be persistent throughout the process thank you